In this short tutorial, I will show you how to create a new quiz with automated feedback. So first, I will show you from the student's perspective. I'm in a student course now, and I'm gonna head over to modules, and then click on new quiz. And uh, notice the instructions here for the student, take this quiz to help guide your learning and review targeted areas for improvement. So let's go ahead and take the quiz by clicking on the button. And my first question, what is an allele? So the student would read through the choices and click on the answer that they think is the correct answer. And I'm gonna purposely click on one that is incorrect. And then on question number two, I have a different type of question here where I can select from a drop down menu. And I will read the question. Genes are made up of blank. And so the student would select the answer. And again, I'm going to answer incorrectly on that one. And then also on this one. Okay, and submit the quiz. And so notice right away the students get some feedback. And so on this one, I purposely put in a video that I want the students to watch that explains what an allele is. And so the students can click right here to watch the video. And then on the second one, I placed a video using Canvas Studio of myself talking to the kids. Unfortunately, cells is not the right answer. Um, let me give you a hint and then teacher can provide a hint for the student. Maybe they need to go look something up um, or you can provide a link to something right in the rich content editor. So when I head over to the teacher's view, I will show you how you can add more information in the rich content editor and actually add that link. All right. So uh, and that is it. So the students get automatic feedback. So let's go take a look at how I created that. All right, so I'm in the teacher's course now, and I'm gonna go ahead and edit the quiz. So here are the two questions you just saw. And here's the question here, and here are the answer choices. And notice that if they would have gotten the correct answer on this one, they would have gotten a, a jiffy saying, great. Okay, and I also put in some text there, great job. For the ones that got incorrect, okay, notice that there's some automatic feedback here. And if I want them to go to this video for all of the ones that got incorrect, okay, I can uh, copy that and go to the next one that is incorrect and place the same video there and then the same for the next one that is incorrect because I did not have any automatic answers for those, but now I do. Make sure that you click done for any of these questions that you edit, okay? And then update uh, the entire question to make sure it's all saved, okay? All right, so that is how you add the automated uh, responses for each one of the answer choices. Okay. Now these can be differentiated. I used the same link for each of these incorrect answers, but definitely if you want to, you can put in a different response for each of the wrong answers there. Okay. All right. Now the next question. This question here, I use the multiple drop down uh, question type. Those are my statements right there in the rich content editor. And then here is where I place the answers. Okay, so the correct answer was for number one is DNA. And then for incorrect answer is where I placed this video. So I am gonna show you how I did that in the next one. So I'm gonna click on they chose this incorrect answer, I'm gonna click here in the red area, the red boxed area. And the way I put that video in there is I went uh, to this little plugin and I chose Canvas Studio. And there's that video I made, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one. And I will choose Webcam Capture. 
and I can uh, hit record and start recording my message to the students. And that was just for practice. Can click save. All right, and then select the video and embed it. All right, so notice it has um, embedded into the rich content editor. And if I wanna add uh, information for my students, I can uh, still do it here in the rich content editor. So maybe I wanna give them a link, like I mentioned earlier. So link to another resource. And I happen to have uh, a link here. So I've got this website um, that has the definition to allele, and maybe I want them to go there, take a look at it. So there it is. Now, if I can also clean this up a little. I can just hyperlink to the text here and place it right in there. All right, and click done. And there it is. Okay, so maybe there are some other things I want to share with my students um, after I gave them the video message. Okay, so you can place that right into the rich content editor. Update your question and click save. So if you want to preview, let's take a look at what it looks like now. And so um, let's try this again. This time, what is an allele? I'm going to choose the right answer so you can see what that looks like. And then for this one, I'll go ahead and do incorrect answers again. Since I made some changes there. And there is that great jiffy that they get for the right answer. And then here is that video again for the wrong answer. All right, if you have any questions on how to do this, please reach out to EdTech. Thanks.